Thanks, Angela. Hey, Rachel. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. And we have Cody. Hi, Cody. Um, I have not really seen the emails that were happening today. Uh, hello. Hello, Cody. How are you? I'm good. Great. Yeah. Busy night tonight. I know Angela was at the sip and stroll, or at least I'm assuming she was, because she kept mentioning tonight wasn't a good night to meet because of that. Cody, are you still headed to the hockey game at eight? Um, I have no way to get the post out. Um, but so can't afford to get in. So I wish, but oh well. Would would it help if we could give you a ride? Yeah. Okay. Um. Let well, I should put you in touch with Toby. Hey, Matt. Hello. We are at a quorum. Angela did not have a good connection, so she passed um the uh, hosting to me. I will make you co-host, Matt. Um. And then we just need to do the script and the roll call because we are at forum. Do you have the script open or do you want me to mangle it for everybody? Um, yeah, I can get it. So basically this just um, this is just what we read to say that um, pursuant to chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted um, via remote means only. Um, let's see. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so on Zoom, obviously. Uh, no intent, no in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via Zoom. Um, and then the meeting recording will be posted promptly to the town's uh, on the YouTube channel shortly after the meeting. You see me for public comment at this time. That we have no members of the public today. Um, Matt, you seem to be breaking up quite a bit. Or is it my connection, folks? I don't know. I heard it too. OK, we'll just have to I mean, keep just your, yeah. Matt, keep I mean. Is it because of what they're doing on our street? I asked them about that. It, it's not going to affect, it shouldn't affect the internet. It's um, famous last word. Eversource only, according to them. It's an Eversource pipe. Oh. I I do have. That's me. Sorry. I just lost my phone. So I have I have two little, 530 is just a really rough time for our family. So I've, I've got the two little ones in the background. But um, thank you. But that, so that, I don't think that's what's breaking up. So, <laughs> should we do a roll call? Um, okay, Christy? Here. Rachel? Here. Cody? Here. Eleanor? Here. And Silty? Here. And... I'm here and Matt, are you here? Excellent. Uh-huh. Yep. So um as I said in the email, hopefully, well, we'll just see how things go. But but we, this is our last scheduled meeting. And so this was the meeting um for Sylvie's benefit as an our only new member who hasn't been through the process yet, where we in theory would vote on the final slate of um grants. 
And, you know, however, we want to give everything it's, it's due diligence. So if we have to schedule another meeting, we could. Um, but I think, you know, many of us would prefer to sort of just run this one as long as we need to and try to make a vote if we can. But, you know, we're going to we're going to do our, our due diligence regardless of the timing and we'll reschedule if we have to. And then, like I mentioned in my email, second Tuesday in January, that's sort of our tentative schedule is to meet every second Tuesday. So that um, that's an important part of the process, because anybody who's declined uh, has 14 days to request that we reconsider their grant. There's a whole process to that. It has to go through MCC first. Um, but that's that's why that second Tuesday is an important date for us. If if we if the timing all works out, in other words, if we get the denial letters out two weeks ahead of January 9th, then we we can do that. If not, we'll have to readjust. Yeah, I think we're in we're going to be in pretty good shape at least to do the denial denial letters and um, is that 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 is the hard part. Shall we start where we left off? Because I have good news on that front. <laughs> uh, I was confused and I was wrong. The um, We were talking about uh, sequence grant number 68, music on main concerts at First Church. Um, the grantee who, um, the, the confusion was that it was at the same location, the First Congregational Church, uh, but this is a, a a different um, person applying and the person who um, wasn't even aware that they'd gotten the grant and everything else is not part of this. They have not applied again. So um, this one I would I would support fully funding if possible. This is, um, sorry, I just went to full screen mode here. Um, this is, Unsilenced uh, hearing Afghanistan today, activist music of composer and pianist uh, Arsen Fahim, um, the conversation and chamber music concert, the, uh, Arthur Fahim, and the Quattro Punto Ensemble. This is that one that you read us the whole email exchange that that was the wrong person? That was the wrong person. Yeah. It, there's, there's overlap with, um, the location and um but yeah it's 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 not that person what number are we on 68 68 yeah so music on main concerts at first church and they are asking for 750 dollars out of 2900 i mean this is Right in Amherst, it's an original work. Um, it's culturally relevant, you know, across the globe. So uh, it is it is classical music, which we tend to have a lot of. So that might only be the only, uh, I don't know, does anyone else um, either want to support fully funding it or want to suggest a different amount? Or I, I see no reason to deny it, sure. So everyone supports fully funding this if possible. So somebody just say real quick, I I see the Afghani connection, um, but this one is, I mean, we're not gonna have a lot of fully funded grants this year. So are, is, this a, is this a hard line must fully fund or is this a, we want to fully fund? I, from my perspective at this point, I think it's, it's hard with as much classical music as we have to necessarily to say that we're gonna fully fund any of those unless they're a particularly small ask. Um, but you high, know, really high partial would be my vote okay, or yeah. 500, whatever. I mean, I don't think it has to be fully funded, but it's a good project. <clears throat> Everyone else uh, roughly in the same? Okay. I'm sorry, that five. Okay. Thank you. Then let's let's keep moving. Um, Matt, did you have a number listed for this one? I, I guess you do have numbers listed for approximate amounts. Yeah, but bear in mind those numbers only reflect 
an attempt to balance things that yep. they don't reflect yep. any kind of judgment. So okay, I just want to make sure that we were within the ballpark of where you were. Can I can I just ask for a second? I'm sharing the screen. I feel like for me anyway, this this helps, but is it too small? Is it annoying to anybody? Do you want me to try to explain? No. Okay. Is it okay, Cody? I think it's good. It's good to have. I'll be like looking back at the what I have on my screen because I have more information for myself there. But yeah, I think it. Can you can you scroll over? Let me see. You see how you have um no. Everybody just needs to keep in mind that when Matt is on line sixty nine, it's actually sixty eight in the sequence because of the the top row in in the Excel chart. So I, I think how you had it framed up was better for everyone before to see more information. Okay, All right. Do you want to tee up the next one, Matt? Where do you want me to do it? I'm having trouble unmuting myself. Um, oh, can I, I can just, I this can just is... myself. Yeah, I can do it if you need to mute, that's fine. Yeah? I, this is um this is a strong grant i think um it's a large ambitious project it's got a background behind it so i had it slated as a high partial for 800 out of a thousand i i fully agree do we need discussion okay um no we can't tori um another you know um perennial uh, maybe not perennial but very regular uh, member and a great choir um see the mental health topic here now i guess it, it looks like maybe the venue wasn't completely confirmed but we felt confident in it for some reason um so i think they came like back said, with, with more information um oh. i think they did and uh I would support fully funding it. If we can, again. Okay, so thank not we we looked at um 71, 72, and 73 already as as ones that were um probably not meeting eligibility criteria. So that brings us down to 74. And this is the plant but guy, Jones. Plant just guy, to confirm, we, we did get a fully confirmed date and location for Nova Contori. Great. Very you know. So uh, anybody got big feelings about the plant guy? I, I think we need to add because this is one that we um, had wondered as far as um, date and location. They did come back not only um, confirming the date, but with a letter of support from the Jones um, saying that they thought this was an important program to be able to present. So uh, my first thought was, oh, is this what we do? <laughs> and, but apparently the Jones thinks it may be. It feels pretty in line to me with like other things we funded in terms of you know, science educational programming. Um, yeah, I'm. I, if they, if especially if they emailed back with the date and letter of support, I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, just feels us. The label us is science and does help our also for that. It's a new trend. It's a you know meant to educate people and something different from what we find. So I will strongly support it. Should we should we lean towards a high partial though, or at least at least half, right? Half Any feels questions? fine to me. If that like, I don't know if everyone else feels that way, but yeah, I 
I have to. I, I I don't think I have partial. I um I'm I'm kind of on the fence on this one to be honest with you, just because it's like it really is quite a ways outside of our of our typical cultural event um item. So I, I don't know. I um I guess so, I'm not as positive sorry. about this one as others are. I have a question about it as well, um, because I don't know if the um the minimum age requirement, for example, does that kind of take away somewhat from the accessibility of the event? Obviously, it, it's there for a reason, but um, yeah, I definitely not a high partial for me either, I don't think. You know, that's an interesting point. It does say that the presentation for people that are 21 and older, and yet it, I don't know that you can keep people out that are not 21 at the Jones Library. Um, so that's, and yet mm. the, the library is hosting it, and yet, you know, I guess it's it's not responsible to be presenting that material to people who are not of age to re to receive it. Man. Not only the educational <laughs> material in the discussion, even not yeah. they're passing it out. Me, I feel so cute to us that falls under Jones. Um. And accessibility was, you know. I see the point, but I would also recognize that people under 21 can't legally attend or retain the projects taught about. So, I mean, when it's at 250, I was about to say that. Mm -hmm. So is there anyone, thank you, Cody, that's the all good points. Um, is there anyone that feels strongly about not funding this at all? So I also will say I'm looking more closely. It says it's 500 bucks for a two, two hour entertaining presentation. No other sources of funding. Um, you know, if we don't get fully funded, we would ask, we could ask the library if they are their friends or another community group may be able to fund the balance. Um, I don't know that that also it, it does actually feel like somebody who maybe is kind of blanketing it out to every cultural council in the state and trying to just sort of see where they can drum up their their events. Um, Let's see if they applied anywhere else. Um, well, that's a self report, so you don't always get that's not the full truth, you know. But not th nowhere else for this specific project. I'm, I'm saying that they apply for each to each town for a project in their town. They did. They did not list having approved um, applied to any others because for I this mean, specific project, though. Yeah, exactly. So uh, again, is there anyone who feels strongly about not funding it at all? I don't think we should fund it personally. Okay, Cody thinks that we definitely should fund it, and I. I have some concerns, you know, certainly. Um, we could either take a vote now or come back to it towards the end of the night. I think we should take a, a vote now on, on this one. Okay. What, so I'll I'll move, or or Cody, you can move to fully fund it. I mean, that's kind of, I guess that's, we want people to, what are we voting on? <laughs> We're going to. I think what we need to vote on is whether we should deny it. Okay. Okay. So is there any discussion before we do that though? 
I hate to put you on the spot. Oh, me. See, now I'm having for what if they can't fund it for me. They're assuming all we could ask around, but it's like, well, you should have had a back complaint. And I know we had this conversation last time about us. It was a event in Holyoke where it was a huge amount and they sounded well if we can for fun this the event is in question so you know to me at first I said yes but now should we even fund this at all so quickly on on that and I appreciate you know that you're seeing a little differently because of the way that we would deny a grant um we've been through this several times that it, it really we're not in a position to deny a grant um just solely on on the the funding and that if we don't come through um that we fully to fully fund it you know if if they meet enough criteria otherwise we would still need to you know, consider fully funding or make the case that there's not enough public benefit as part of the, the whole here. So yeah, um, I, I have to disagree a little bit with that. I don't want to, but we don't have to make the case. I mean, you know, really all the, the statement is very useful and because it, of how it's structured, mm -hmm. it says your project did not provide enough public benefit to our community compared to other proposals we received. And that is, that's 90% of the denial letters that we send out. So we really don't have to do any like of the case making stuff. It's it's actually the the technical items that open us up to reconsideration requests because that's those are the things that MCC has to approve. So so for me, my I think my rationale is is that statement that this particular I mean, because like Cody said, this would basically become like the Cultural Council has decided to bring these people in to do a grow your own presentation. It, it's not like we're chipping in on a local thing that's happening. You know, this is not like, what's the fest? The, there's a big festival in Northampton, you know? Like, yeah. I, could see, I could see chipping in on that festival because that's a, a part of like local culture. This is yeah. us bringing somebody in to do it and, and us being the sole funders of it. So yeah, I don't I don't I, see it as like comparable benefit. I, I'm, I misspoke as far, far as, I didn't mean make the case to the grantee, but that um the you know we need to consider in the cri criteria you know um the, the the grant as a whole for public benefit that's all um not just that one aspect of it so i i do have concerns about you know it it looking like hey you know this this <laughs> this grow your own presentation is is brought to you by the amherst um cultural council and i i feel pretty strongly at this point even with the library support about putting this one aside for other things of more benefit any more discussion before we take a vote on whether to deny or not okay i'll cody, start are you okay? i mean i think cody's okay with that too so we probably yeah. are okay so i i'm going to say um i vote to deny Christy? Yeah. Rachel? Agreed. Eleanor? Yeah, I'm okay to deny it. Sylvie? Agreed. Cody? Yeah, I'm changing my stance on it. So, yes. Thank you. And something, by the way, you know, Sylvie, when we had the session 
a little while back, I was, uh, this is the kind of thing I was alluding to that, you know, we, we think we know what these things are going to be. And then, then, you know, we get, get into it. It is an interesting conversation, I find. So thank you, everyone. Um, okay. Uh, moving to the next number 75. And this is a uh, a regular applicant here um, for the Porter Phelps Huntington Museum and Foundation. This is for their June and July Wednesday folk traditions. Um, they uh, are presenting the 43rd season uh, of the folk traditions concerts. Um, they have seven folk music presentations and the performers are selected from the regions. Um, uh, rich mix of world and folk music ensembles. And uh, the concerts are designed to highlight the region's heritage and to introduce cultures of various ethnic groups to residents of the greater Pioneer Valley. And it, it is um, um, performed in the Sunken Garden, um, which was chosen because of its um, ADA accessibility. And um, they hope to provide to attract um, families um, and by providing reduced admission for uh, young folks. They are asking us for $2,000 um, out of $38,900. And again, th this is, is for seven performances. Um, it's something that we've actively funded for, for years. Um, and yet, uh, I, I do, I do think that $2,000 is, is quite a substantial, uh, amount to to grant, even though it is here in an area. Is there anyone who supports fully funding it? I do, actually. Yeah, I mean, I just think so many people go to this. Um, I mean, if we can, I if not if not full, I would say very high. Um, you know, it's a well organized thing that hundreds if not thousands of people go to every summer so um anyways i think it's a great you know and it's it's a lot of music that we're funding it oh, it, no. it is double the amount that we granted last year is it okay i mean it, then yeah you know. um so how much did they do they always ask for two i mean what do they we did, but we did fund them at 1500 in 2022. Um, and I think that that was just an interesting year, frankly, where because of the pandemic, we really made every effort to try to fully fund things that were right here in, in Amherst. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I think everyone agrees it's a great event, but I don't know that we can really go to the 2000. Is, does everyone agree with a fairly high partial? Are you raising your hand, Cody? Yeah, I mean, I, I wish it to sound uh, uh, in my opinion, with the amount of grants we all fund in that. In not impossible, but unlikely. So I would support eight hundred to thousand dollars. If we can do it, I'd like to see it at a thousand, which puts it in line with where they were last year. They do have a sizable budget. They do. You know, they're they're offering reduced admission, but that does mean that there is admission costs. So there are, you know, multiple sources of funding that are happening clearly. Um, but it is important, as, as Christy said, for the area. So is everyone agreed with being around a thousand there? Yeah. yeah, maximum, I think. Yeah, to match last year. Yeah. Um, okay, excellent. And now the next one, number 76, Real Live Theater. It's presenting uh, When the Mind's Free. Uh, and that will be July 18th to August 4th at the Shea Theater. 
um, senior living uh, and community centers around the area. So I think the official one event is at the Shea Theater. This is for $37,000 and $37,040. And, and they are asking our cultural council for 2000 of that. Um, they will be lifting language and story from Shakespeare's King Lear to place them into a contemporary context of a lesbian family dealing with early onset Alzheimer's and addiction. Um, uh, the epic arc of King Lear is condensed into one day in the entire life of this family, and they have scenes with caregiving, some of which blossom into an imaginative play, and others which devolve into frustration and tears. Um, and they're interspersed with dances, uh, taking the audience outside of that repetitive reality and into the inner lives of the characters. So to to sum it up, it's a, an, an original work around, you know, some challenging topics um, and uh, they'll be engaging with um, organizations um, that are uh, working with folks um, with dementia uh, and dealing with memory loss along with their caregivers. So it sounds like a really, really moving um, and immersive experience. Um, so, uh, I, I just want to chime in real quick. Um, Shea Theater is way up in Turner's Falls, yep. but it's not that far. It is truly a uh, a local legend. It's an amazing spot. Um, I've I've never been disappointed by anything I've seen there. Yeah. That being said, it's way up in Turner's, so that's yeah. where I I like that four hundred number personally. I, I'm okay to keep it there. I really like this one and I would almost ask if we could get it any closer to half. Um just because I don't know. I, I think I think it's really amazing and I really like that they're doing anyone impacted by caregiving, memory loss, or addiction can it's free for them. Um and I just think it's a very it, it's because they do a lot of Shakespeare there, right? And I, I just think this is a really cool modern twist on it. But I, I I'm I'm fine with four hundred. I just if there's like any room, I think it'll be Great. I agree. Um, I support it more. Real quick, Cody, I do want to note that they've applied to Greenfield, Hadley, Holyoke, Montague, Northampton, South Hadley, Springfield, and Sunderland. So uh, I do think we can do a partial, you know, certainly, but yeah. Okay, Cody? Uh, I mean, uh, I will support maybe it's it's hundred but as soon as soon they will get support from others to meet their needs. It's it's everyone else okay with around six hundred? I think, yeah, knowing how many councils they've applied to, I think that there'll be additional funding. Um, I'll also say once we get through the long list, you know, Eleanor, if you want to like tuck away one or two in mind that you want to advocate for up. And I, I, I love this one too. And it's a big budget. Um, so, you know, maybe on a second pass, we can find some ways to boost it a little bit more. I do want to note that they've included in the budget three thousand five hundred dollars for sign language interpretation and um, uh, caregiver reimbursement to the audience members, as Eleanor is saying. Right, so uh, there. Yeah, I agree. I'd, I'd like to give it more if we can come back to it. Okay, thank you all. Um, the next one, moving on, 78 Restless Books. It's the Amherst Immigrant Writing Workshop, translating Emily Dickinson's poetry with children. They're asking for $3,000 of their $3,000 budget at the Jones Library. Um, we did receive a letter of support for this. Um, in the interest of time, I'm not going to, to read through the whole thing. It was an absolutely phenomenal and amazing project. Um, and uh, I, it, it is a large ask, but it's, it is, you know, certainly uh, really important work that they're they're doing. See, Matt has it down to fifteen hundred. I I think that's right. Is there anyone who supports fully funding it? 
or um, has any discussion for this or disagrees with 1500 roughly? In the ideal world, I would love to fully fund this myself. And if possible, can we give them 2000? I don't know. That's yeah, 2000 is what what I had written, written down. It is a colossal project. Uh, but I, I would support a two thousand dollar grant. Is there anyone that's uncomfortable with that? If so, let's just hope we can do it once we get through all the numbers. Yeah, the 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 number makes me nervous, and I also just looking closely at the budget. I mean, um, I guess. Yeah, I get most fifteen hundred of the money of of it goes to directly to the people who are doing the teaching and the translating, mm -hmm. and that's kind of why I like that fifteen hundred number. The yeah, you know, seven hundred on marketing, three hundred for book, which I don't I don't discount books, but you know, I guess for me, I, I like the, I like that number just be oh three hundred fifty dollars for administrative expenses. You know, again, none of that. I don't dispute any of that. I just think in a tight year, making sure that we pay for the at least. At least fund the contractors, I guess, is my thought. But let, why I, don't we run with 2000 and, and see if we can make it work? I, I think we need to, to do the latter, which is I think, you know, we'd all like to fully fund this. But I think you're you're exactly right about, you know, that that's that's a huge investment that we could make towards the the, the total project. And if there's somehow some way as more money, we could circle back and put more to this. But are you keeping a list of those, Matt? Um, I, I guess I'm thinking that individuals should really earmark the ones that they want to advocate for as okay. we go through. All right. Excellent. Okay. So moving to um, number 79, John Root, welcoming pollinators. And we, we do have this confirmed by the library with a letter. Um, and he's asking for $350 out of his $350 budget. He's been um, a, a regular uh uh, grantee over the years. Um, so uh, this one, um, you know, I certainly support funding it. Um, what number? It, I, yeah, I I think I misread that it, out of a five hundred and fifty dollar budget. I do think we we may need to go down a little bit on this one, um, maybe down to around you know two fifty, you know one seventy five to two fifty. Does anyone have any strong feelings about this one? I wouldn't mind taking money I would have given to the previous project to this one. <laughs> To which one? I'll get a look. I because I was just batting for rest the previous project, the restless books one. Um, but you know, if I had to choose, I would probably want to give some of that to this project instead. If that makes sense. To up to up it to, to what you said, you know. Over 200 if possible. Yeah, it, it is nice to to show some support to the Jones Library for this kind of programming um for science and, and botany and well, pollinators too. So. Shall we try to keep it in the in the two hundred and fifty dollar? Yeah, I, I was gonna say. I mean, John's a very well known commodity around here, and I I don't I don't know what kind of turnout he actually gets for these presentations that he does. He does a lot of them though, and it's obviously it's you know very very appropriate to the area and just incredibly important work. So why don't we why don't we put it at two fifty and and see if we can do it? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, okay, so the next is um, number 82, because we skipped the other ones. We've already rejected those, right? Are we all tracking? So this is Smith, Smith Vocational High School, the Viking Runestone um, project. And they're asking us for $550 out of their $550 budget. No, uh, sorry, uh, Julianne. Um, yeah. Silverthorne turned in their final grant report. Oh, good. Oh, good, good, good. All right. Um, can we finish up on the runestones and then go back to them? Yep. Yep. Okay. So we do have two letters of support for this. Um, 
and uh, Amherst students do do attend um, Smith Vocational High School, so it does serve our community. It's a neat, neat project. Um, and uh, but I don't think that we have to to fully fund the whole budget. So the number here uh, makes sense to me for the the two seventy five. It's everyone in agreement with that. I am. I, I certainly want to give them something just to indicate support. And if we need to scrape for another hundred bucks, I think we could reduce this a little bit further, even because it is, you know, I mean, it's it's school funded. So this is, I mean, it's it's a great, you know, extracurricular activity, but um, there are so many different towns that are sending kids to this school that I don't think we, we have yeah, a I big don't. burden. We just want to indicate support kind of, that's my, yeah. my feeling. Okay. Matt, do you want to take um, Silverthorne? I'm so, so glad, I was so glad when we got the email um, with their final report information. I do. It's been a minute since I read it carefully. All I, I, I would just speak to the quality of production that Silverthorn puts on and you know they typically do it up in Greenfield this is the first time I've seen them attached to an Amherst area institution but I just think you know the theater arts and like community theater local theater um, that's such a such a huge when I think of what cultural councils can do so anything we can do to sort of you know build them as an Amherst partner I think would be worth doing um, and so that's that's really my whole thought. That doesn't really speak to the um the lineup for the year or anything. Yeah, it's it's really you know quite quite a large um event. Sorry, words. I don't have my words today. So mm -hmm. well, it is a big ask. It it is here. Um, so at at the two thousand that you have there, you know, I'd I'd love to see us be able to do that. Anybody feel like we should be closer to 150? I mean, 1500 rather. Okay. Well, let's let's stick with it, and then you know, I, I'm totally open to reducing that. I just that was kind of a again, it's all ballpark, just very quick. Yeah, and just just for reference, um, it we did fund them at 705 last year, which I I don't really think is um pertinent to this because again that wasn't right here you know and as you said i think we do want to show a, some strong support for bringing this the um uh event right here to us if we can and we're doing great in terms of discipline i mean we're, we're you know 300 bucks over so we're in we're in good shape in terms of keeping an eye on the bottom line excellent Okay, so the next one, let's see if I look at your chart, we're skipping a few, correct? Yeah. Um, I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah, this I one. I probably recuse myself from this. I mean, I am the target Charles audience Children. for every yeah. heading zoo. <laughs> um, this, this is just just phenomenal as far as kids and being able to go in and like actually get near these big intimidating instruments and that the musicians are going to come and relate to the kids and um so wait is it is it at the the jones library is that where this is happening i'm just now trying to track that myself yeah um so it I don't know about you know the 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 thousand dollar that that's a bit much in a tight year, but I do think we should give it a very high partial. Um, does any anyone have a, a number that they like for a high partial? You have it at, at half there, Matt. I, I kind of think we can potentially do seven fifty. Yeah, I, I think that's that's right. Um, go with that. Yeah. Oh, going up to seven fifty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, then the next one is um, number eighty-seven, Paul Sticka at the Acoustica Live Music Concert. Um, this is at the Amherst Strong House. 
Um, and I, in the end, I'm not sure if we got a date in the letter here. I need to check. I'm checking. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, I, I feel like we must have. We were pretty, we were pretty good about zeroing out, zeroing out those that we didn't. But well, there were a few that I forgot a yeah. couple times. It's been a problem with me. I gotta say, um, nobody can be a hundred percent perfect all the time. I'm nowhere near. Um, I'm looking on. Let's see. I'm so, so there, sorry to cut in, but I have to head out, actually. Understood. Thank you so much, Sylvie. Okay. Yeah. Have a good night, Thanks, everyone. Sylvie. Bye. Yeah, we we did not receive anything. So there is no no firm date or location on this one. Well, it, well, the location is there. And it was no, let me start over. No letter of support and no firm date. The um, other thing that, that I brought up with some other um, grantees last week was you know, the strong house, it is right here in town. Um, but this is yet, you know, an, another event at the strong house. Um, and, and Paul has presented, you know, year in, year out. So, um, I, I don't, I don't think it's a matter of, of denying, but I, I do think for all, all of the music we have, we may have to adjust down. Well, I, I mean, Going back to the denial letter, you know, when we sent out that email that said you will probably be denied if you don't give us a date, you know, that language is the language that we can cut and paste right back out to people. And, mm -hmm. and Paul, Paul has been around enough. Yeah, he, he reads the stuff carefully. He, he tends to be a good communicator. So, yeah, I guess seeing this or alt venue, if necessary, is is not really inspiring confidence there. Yeah, I, I don't doubt that he'll do it, but it just says summer of 24 at a venue TBD, and that's... Yeah, it's not, not sufficient. Yeah. So, should we move on to um, the Survival Center? Tunes at noon. This is... <laughs> all right, what do we have this funded at right now? Um, Half? I, I personally think we should fully fund it if we can, and it, it's in line. These are um really kind of long format events that go week in week out and provide something to this community that's this truly exceptional um so just looking back we did 1200 in 2023 and um we'll look to find it in 2022 i don't know uh So my feeling is this, that that I agree. I mean, it's it's one of the, you know, greatest things that we fund. You know, um, if we give them a thousand instead of twelve hundred, it's still gonna happen. You know, that won't be existentially, that won't stop it. Um so I I don't know. Yeah, I'm not I'm I'm not I don't have a problem with a thousand instead of twelve hundred. Um Let's try it for now. That can be certainly one to come back to and, and sweeten it back up. We're so hopeful. We're not identifying many to come back to and turn down, I noticed, but that's... <laughs> that's I mentioned one. I, I mentioned Silverthorn. We could turn that one down a little. I'm sorry, Silverthorn? What? Oh, We, could reduce, oh, we, we could reduce that amount a little bit. Yeah. What? <laughs> not deny, just reduce. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so this is what number? 89. Josh Swift. Accessible improvisation at the barn. Um, anybody want to advocate for this one? I, I do want to advocate for it, but I, I don't think we can, you know, fully, fully fund it. Um, I'd, I'd like to see it funded at, at, at around 600, 650. Six weeks of creative dance class. Cost participation is sixty zero to eighty dollars sliding scale. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty nice structure. Mm -hmm. 
it's in Belgertown. We're trying. I remember last year we kind of liked the barn as a emerging space for art. Mm hmm. We could we do like five fifty for it? Would that be within reason, or is it, does it? Why is that four eighty eight right now? I'm just curious. <laughs> like that specific. No, there's no reason. I was probably just playing <laughs> numbers, trying to get a, a a round number. Got it. I mean, I'd I'd like to fund a you know a little more than we did last year. That's how I think I ended up at the six fifty, um, because it's such a unique offering and it and it is something uh, for people to actively participate in as well. Um, so last year we were at six hundred. So I I would hope we wouldn't have to decrease since we want to encourage this. And it is well, dance. We don't have a whole lot of dance, um, and it's dance for this particular community. Yeah, let's let's shoot for six fifty. That's that's compelling. Okay, excellent. Um, the next is downtown Amherst Foundation, and we're going to talk about ninety and ninety one at the same time, because um, we have two. Uh, grants requested from the downtown Amherst Foundation, and we can do only one, unfortunately. So the first one is um, the second year, a very successful program that we they kicked off last year at the Drake with the Amherst um, High School um, Jazz Department and Performing Arts Department um, having you know a, a jazz cabaret for several sessions. And then the other one is the summer concert series on the common um, that would occur in July and August. They're asking for 2,500 for each one of them. And I would recommend that we fully fund one or the other of them. Um, and for my for myself going kind of around and, and, and through this, I mean, I think the high school event is so special and so unique to our area. And it has the community actually using the, the Drake in a very community purposed way. Um, and, and yet the summer concert series is pretty much what people are asking for in the survey. So it's a, it's a very tough decision um, to make. And, you know, I, I think if I had to decide what the public would feel was the most public benefit, uh, I think I know which way I'd go, but I'm interested to hear difficult choice how other folks would want to choose. I mean, did we find a high school event last year? We, we did fund this very thing last year, and it was a huge success. We funded both last year, but they came in... Um, differently as far as the applicants and the primary contact oh so yeah it sucks but i see this year we have the data to support our choice to find the summer concerts so I would just go that route. Yeah, it sucks, but we need to fulfill the wants of the community. That, that that's where I ended up. Yeah, I'm I'm with the two of you, I think. Who um am I muted? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um who 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 was the lead grantee on the concert series last year? I'm just I'm looking at last I year. I was just trying to pull that also. Um the downhill. It wasn't the business improvement district, was it? No. Probably, right? Amherst. No, it wasn't. I'm looking at the spreadsheet. I'm, I see you in there. Um, 
I'm not actually sure that we did fund that because might not have. There, there was some other MCC money that went into that. And no, we didn't. So, so, but I, I will say this, if anybody's worried about sort of the, the appearances of it, um, you know, we can certainly talk to Gabrielle who, you know, who is attached to both of these. And in fact, I already did. I told her we can't approve both. So it's really just a flip of a coin. And both of these are going into the DAF funds. Both of these things are going to happen. You know, they're going to find a way to make them happen. So uh, I don't think we have to, you know, torture our conscience about it. Um, which that being said, which one did you all just arrive to? <laughs> well, that the community's asking for the summer concert series. And I, I, I'm glad we've confirmed that we didn't fund it last year because then I, I think um, everybody being, you know, completely clear with each other as far as uh, that it, it is going to happen, that maybe it is meaningful to continue to support bringing the community get together with the high school musicians. I mean, this is really yeah, true, I, special thing. Yeah, let's find that. And then, you know, I, I happen to know also cultural district, you know, got its award this year and that continues to go up. So they cultural district got 15,000 this year. So, you know, and, and the downtown F foundation, they administer that as well. So there there's, there's MCC funding available for them to do the um, series. Okay. Oh, it's so Great. Excellent. All okay. Right, so I'm put back on the AR, a, uh, high school. All right. So then we already discussed um, the next two, 92 and 93 last week in that, again, we had two applications and we could not fund both, unfortunately. So um, are we all still in agreement to work to fully fund the event that would um that's for 700 so that we can give them the most support possible. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Mm. And now we are on to number 94, Ed the Wizard, Magic for Seniors. Um, I believe we did get confirmation uh, of, of date location from this. Hello. Sorry. Um, yes, we did. We did. Yep. Yep, we did. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess we had the same event this uh, this last year, and um, it it sounds super super fun. Uh, it is at the the Bang Center, uh, but it is a a pretty reasonable ask. So, would like to to see us if not fully fund it. You know, definitely. Go around 300, 350. Matt, did you stop sharing your screen? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought you were watching what I was doing. <laughs> I'm like, hey, is she reading my mind? Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. I was, <laughs> here you go. I support fully funding that. Yeah. I think, you know, if we're going to give it money, we should, we should, you know, do it. Okay. Yeah. All right, and let's keep going. Um, and then we have uh, Roger Ticknell, uh, children's songs, singing games, family concert. And, um, you know, this this is another one that um, we support and that we've heard from in the past from our local high school students of just how very, 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 very special these events uh, were, were for, for them. Um, so, this is one that, you know, I think we'd like to fully fund. It is just one event, I believe, this time. Um, any, any discussion on this one? Is this, this is at the um, the Head Start Center near the Wildwood School? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I love Roger and I love the event very much and I, I would like to fully fund it. Um, I think it would probably still happen at 400, not to be a, a cheapskate, mm -hmm. but, you know. We have funded him at 500 the last two years. Okay. All right. I take it back. You take what back? What I said. Full, I say fully fund it. I mean, it's, you know, it's, okay. 
if you've ever seen Ro children react to Roger Tink now. Do you need to recuse yourself again, Matt? <laughs> I almost did. <laughs> That's why it was so good to have the high school students so they could go, wow. All right. Okay, let's <laughs> let's try to do that. So like moving high school students are still thinking about it, you mean? No, no. Um that they shared with us how special it was. So the next one we have is Valley Art Salon. Um this is for their presentation in Hillside. It's a Pecha Kucha style uh, presentation from artists. And um, they are asking us for 400 out of their $1,050 budget. Um, and uh, I think I was in, in Europe or traveling. I didn't get to go to the one that was actually here last year. Did anybody get to attend? No. Um, uh, I think it's a cool event, but where is Hillside? And this is their format. They do move it around the area. So is um, this different than that's a UMass spot, isn't it? Hmm? That's a UMass spot. I'm pretty sure Hillside. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think so. But it, wait, this is, um, this is Valley Arts Mentors. This is the Art Salon, Valley Art Salon. Oh, I'm sorry. I was down. I was too far down. Yeah, okay. It's like <laughs> it's it's easy to do that. Um yeah. oh UMass will host this salon at Hillside. Yeah. I need to get out more because I wouldn't know how to find Hillside in my own town. Does anyone know where that is? It's a building, I guess. Yeah. In in light of that, then I would be open to to fully funding it, um, at the at the what the four hundred that they're asking for. It looks like it's a location. All I'm seeing is a house, a house at UMass. That's where it is. Oh, so, yeah. So that's cool. yeah, that's all I can find on Google. That that's it. That's the one. Yeah, I, I mean, sounds like a neat idea. Four hundred is reasonable, and and certainly cultivates culture in the valley. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Okay, um, the next one is the Valley Arts Mentoring. Um, uh, with the mentorship program and webinar series. We started discussing this one a little bit um, last week, didn't we? This is one that we we held up as a possible does not meet criteria. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we decided it, it wasn't going to quite fly there, but there's still a good discussion to be had about the sort of, you know, merits, comparable merits in the community. But, but in my, I mean, and I would be, I, I like it. I think it really does have a lot of, value to artists um i think we'd be one of many funding streams so for me it's I, I would like to have our name attached to it even if it's not at you know so a 390 dollars i think is a pretty reasonable but but we could even go lower if we wanted to i no i i i think that's you know probably about the the right amount somewhere in there Mm. Well, this one I would be okay with trimming downwards, like in order to balance the numbers, like maybe closer to three hundred, which would be yeah, almost half, right? Well, we try that. We can come back to it if we need to, but unless anybody has any thoughts, strong strong feelings about it, put it at, at exactly half, I guess, which is three twenty five, maybe. Okay, now we are at the Valley Light Opera. Oh man, this is great. This is one I I have slated that you know we'd like to fully fund this. This is an ambitious. This is the real deal. That being yep. said, you know it's a very major production at the um, Academy of Music. You know, 
which obviously Amherst residents can take advantage of, but you know, it's very much a Northampton venue. And um, the, a lot of the people who participate though, are very much, you know, Amherst local residents and active in the community, um, providing other arts benefit to uh, various programs and the schools and everything else. So you, you can't, you can't, uh, knock uh, an Amherst organization for not performing in Amherst. There are so few places to perform. No, absolutely. I need to look at the description again. Yeah. And then if you get into, you know, if they have an orchestra actually playing the the, the places that can host that, and then, you know, if you happen to know what the cost is to rent Bowker, you know, or even, even the high school auditoriums, you know, as far as there's some, some pretty significant costs that are there. So they do have to perform in a place that's appropriate to perform an opera so so this one has already happened correct oh, really? November 2023 hmm. let, me, let me take a look here that seems to be the case Rachel <laughs> I actually don't know this opera either, so. I don't know that one either. Um, How were they publicizing it? It does, in fact, appear to have happened. Looks like it was a great show. <laughs> Guys, we've got to get out more. And, of course, there's no reason that we can't. Yeah. There's no reason we cannot. I, by the way, everybody, I, I will say that since you made that comment. Um I am I'm making a commitment here in public being recorded. I'm going to take the I'm going to create a Google Google calendar. Once we get our final slate approved and out, I am going to do it this year. I said I would do it last year and I didn't. This year I'm going to do it and then we can all, you know, you can subscribe to the calendar and you can track those things and we'll we'll communicate to our grantees about like, hey, you know, if you have something else you want us to put on there, just let us know. I'm going to do it. We have to do it. It's just like it's 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 such small work and it would yep. make such a big difference, you know? Yeah, that, that would be great. And, um, I, I did look back. We, we funded them for 52022 and they did not, um, I guess they did not apply for a grant in 2023. It looks like as far as I can see, but, um, well, given that it's already happened, I, I I certainly would am happy to help give them some money to reimburse, recoup their costs, but I am less inclined to give them a full funding. Because how do we get attribution for, you know, for, for sponsoring it, for example, you know? Oh gosh, then we'd have to change all our rules because we do go to July one on everything. So it's a good point though. Um, but but we don't have a especially in the direct granting, we have mm -hmm. not done a lot of of yeah. retroactives. Yeah, we've done some though. Would would a high partial around eight hundred be appropriate here? I don't think so. Really? Yeah, I think it's like Matt says in recognition of what they've already done. It's almost like a token gesture at this point. That's how I feel because they've already pulled it off, right? So it's um, but. In good faith, we're offering this grant as a. I don't know. That's that's how I see it. I I I mean, I think this is the only opera organization that we have in the area. I'd like to do a little better than a token amount. Let's see if we can make seven fifty, Rachel. I mean, I, I can go lower personally because I I I do lean. I don't know what what do others think. I think we're this is pretty subjective at this point. Do you still have the picture on your screen that you just had? Why so, would we not fund it? I mean, I don't just because it happened. I I disagree with that thinking myself too. We're talking about how much to fund it, Christy. Matt, can yeah. you put the picture that you were just showing us um of the event because I. <laughs> Oh, are you seeing everything that I, I thought it was only? No, showing no, you, you pulled it up a moment ago, though. I thought it's all the <laughs> way. Did, your, your I was trying right. to only show my one window there. Yeah, let's let's see this. 
and then there was something with everyone in the costumes or something what uh I just want to call out just you know it's a drop in the in the bucket as far as the amount that goes into that co costuming and you know they're buying renting cleaning storing just the costuming alone um i don't think anyone's saying not to fund it so i think it needs to be I, I would be uncomfortable with less than 750. Yeah, I agree too. I mean, because they're an ongoing concern. So what we give now goes into the next one. And yeah, you know, it's not like it's a, this is a one-off thing. And yeah, you've got 20 to 30 for the cast. You've got 10 people doing production. You've got 20 people in the orchestra. Yeah, front of the house people. Um, it's huge. Matt, just, you know, we're not on the um, sheet anymore. We're on Thank a different... You. What are you on now? We're on uh, your drive. Drive. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, and your, did, drive. your drive. Your Google Drive. drive. The 2021, <laughs> 2023 fiction that you didn't apply for a grant for. Isn't there some way... Is there not some way to control... Like you only share a certain window on your Google? There is. There yes. Is. You go into share screen. When you yeah. go into share, so go get out. And then when you go into share screen, you do, I think it's advanced sharing. And then yeah. it'll give you a whole bunch of options. Like you can share just a particular program or you can share a part of your screen, but then you just have to adjust the frame so that you just see the part. Yeah, I, it's not on the Zoom side. It's on the, oh, no, it's, it's, I see what you mean, Christy. I see. Okay. Um, I was just going to tell you, we're in the middle of a of a, an anxiety nightmare. Ah, <laughs> that didn't work either. All right. Anyway, why don't I just mul stop multitasking and I will just share the, share the damn darn screen. Uh, how's that? So, okay. Okay. So we're, <laughs> <laughs> the last, last one. Sorry, everybody. I apologize. Okay. And so I put 750. So now we're looking at Yiddish Book Center. Oh, this was neat. Um yeah. It, ideally we'd fully fund fund this. Um but I think I, I took something from everyone. Yeah. It, So I yeah, think, this, it's at it's at eight ninety one, and I think, I think that's about right. I, I'm sorry, I don't. I actually don't remember the the actual project. What was the? Uh, so this is a public, um, staged reading at the Yiddish Book Center, um, of the, the new English translation adaptation of the nineteen oh seven um Yiddish play. I don't want to say it wrong and it's Hanukkah. Um, it, but it has actors, it has musicians, it's an immersive theater piece. Um, so, uh, and it's here. Uh, and then uh, the, they're going to use their residence time to workshop the script and incorporate music and movement, work out timing issues. Um, and it's a cast and crew that's you know from you know young folks from Western Mass as well as professional performers from around the country that they're bringing in. All right, well let's let's just pause. I mean, and shoot for you know we're certainly going to shoot for a thousand here um, for them. That's great, but let's pause because we're now at the bottom, and we're about uh, fifteen, seventeen. We're about seventeen hundred dollars over, and we have. I mean. Mind you, we have not done the first 40 in this fashion. I just, you know, we just picked up sort of midstream. So I would suggest that we just go up to the top and sort of work our way back down. We've we've already discussed them all. So like none of these, you know, none of these are going to get zeroed out or, or you know, but but let's just take a look at some of these because these were not done with any real dis discern discernment. Yep. They were just kind of just ballparks. And, and that's four weeks. I agree. We should go line by line like that. But before we do that, um, who were the ones that you were reaching out to again? 
for more information. Did you have time to do that or no? The only thing that I accomplished was Silverthorn. And that's a huge accomplishment. All right, let's start at the top. Um, uh, so I'll just I'll just kind of toggle down it and, and we can pause and talk. Um, so this is that amazing um, Quabbin Valley Pro Musica program. Very small ask. And they only wound up getting half funded. So something to bear in mind. I had it a, a little higher, um, but I'm not necessarily un, uncomfortable with where you are there. What you have it at at half. Yeah, I mean, my my thinking was they're they're offering they're asking us for basically a token amount of their overall budget. Mm -hmm. Just indicate regional support. And so with that yeah, in mind, you know. Okay. That's if, if everyone else is in agreement, we should keep moving. So why don't we look at the big awards for a second here? So well, actually, no, let's just keep let's just keep moving. So A3, um, you know, on the one hand, it's low given their overall budget. On the other hand, it's high given our overall budget. So <laughs> yeah, I, I was frustrated because I felt like they should know that, you know, compared to all of you know, everything that we have to grant, that that would be, you know much much more than we would be able to do or just the fraction that it is of our total yeah i i would advocate to make it a little lower i think even even by a hundred dollars like mm -hmm. something like that i just i think that if that makes a big difference elsewhere that's instead tough. of is it at the two thousand yeah yeah, like even like 1900. You're still seeing my spreadsheet, right? You're not seeing yeah. me scroll through the panel look? No, just seeing the spreadsheet. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why nobody was looking nauseous as I did this. Um, seeing all your notes in there, Matt. <laughs> oh, yes, copious notes. Right. <laughs> just just for comparison, by the way, we, we funded them at 2,353 last year. And the prior year, um they received 2500 so i i do think it's important to try to stay in you know in in the ballpark it is art it is uh they deliver a lot of value throughout the the year um and i i wouldn't want to you know de decrease the amount that we're supporting them which we would be by going down to 2000 we kind of talked early about how eighth gallery a3 Amherst Cinema, um, and you know, I don't know, potentially one of, like those are institutions, mm -hmm. and we kind of, you know, we know, and I, we always appreciate it when they when they designate a specific program for our funds, but we also know that we are just we're a chunk of their operating budget, um, so I think my only feeling is we should fund A three and and Amherst Cinema sim similarly. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So why don't we come back? Well, just bear bear that one my in mind that you know if we adjust this, we'll also adjust Amor Cinema. What was Amor Cinema at? 15. You're giving them the half of what they asked, but you, I mean, if you mean make make the two dollar amounts closer to each other. Yeah, like make them make. I don't want I don't want to go up to two thousand for cinema, so no, you're dropping a three, right? Okay, all right. Let's let's keep moving because we can pick that one back up when we look at that. So, which we'll do. All right, then we've got. Oh, now, I I have been very good this cycle about not advocating for fully funding anybody, but uh, I am this this is my one that I am going to put my my. I don't think I don't think anybody's going to argue with me, but I think this is maybe the most special application of the of the bunch this year. Um, just you know, and, and Amherst Media they're they're stretched pretty thin, staff wise and everything else. So, you know, I do I am a little bit nervous about them actually pulling it off. Um, but I you know I know they've got a huge community support around this. Um, the the main applicant or the main sort of creative director 
I, I don't remember her name, but but I know that she's. I mean, the research has just has just emanated out. There's multiple generations of Cam Cambodians living in Amherst right now who have. So yeah, it's, I, it's, I fully agree. I think we need to to fully fully support this one. And yeah, we all in agreement. Yes. Speak. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Why don't we skip cinema for now? Well, well actually, I don't know. I don't know why I said that. Does anybody want to discuss the cinema? I think I'm good with where we have it. Yeah. I think if we needed to trim, I, I, I'd be okay to go back to where you had it before, Matt. Yeah, so what I did is I split the difference between 2023 oh. and 2015 for them. But, you know... I think I'd feel a little bad going lower on Amherst Cinema, but if it's necessary, we can do it. <laughs> We're going to have a hard time making our numbers. Um, so I'm okay with it at the... I, I, I don't want to go down from what we did last year, but yeah. because the, the one that's following this is one that I uh, really don't want to go down on at all, frankly. The, um, Yeah. Yeah. Would you want to speak to that a little bit? Uh yeah. Well well, for one, we we did fund this at a at a thousand last year. And basically, you know, this is um to just give free access to to not just children, but children and their families so they can experience a, a, a wonderful theater production together that's on a professional level here in the community, um, and have that uh, for the whole family. So, and it's, it's a means-based thing. Um, Sorry. It's for reduced, reduced lunch. Um, kids can apply to do this, if I'm remembering correctly. So I, yeah, I would- it's a, it's a tough one to, to yeah. reduce, especially if we gave them a thousand last year. Thank you for checking that. Yeah. Um, you're no longer sharing that, but thanks I, for not. I know. I, 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 I just want to set it up so that we can track the total. Oh, so that's what I just did. So yeah, I, I'm. I'll. I'll be tracking the total too. Well, I mean, for the discussion for us. No. So now you see it up here in this top. That's that's our running total as we adjust it. Ah, good. So Bowker, so going up to a thousand, which I agree. I, I don't think in good conscience we really cannot. Yeah. That. Um. So strings of the strong, I'm afraid, is probably going to be a victim going down in my mind anyway. I don't think it can go down by half though. Uh, but but for me, it we also have to look at the other. Um, one that they want to have later on the. Life fire, no, what, what's the name of it? Um, are you advocating for more or less than 1400? I'm advocating for for more, but I, I've said earlier that I think we need to balance out everything that's going on on there. Um, sorry, I'm looking for the other one that we have later in the season. It's Lefevre. Is it Lefever or? <laughs> I think it's Lefever, yeah. Fever. Yeah, I think so. So they they're requesting eight hundred for uh, and then another event that will be at the Strong House. So um, and they're all great programming, but um, I guess I guess I would support you know trying to if not fully fund the Strong House, make it a this this lead one here. Um, Maybe a minimum of two thousand, and then taking the other one down by half to to do two thousand four hundred total for everything there. Well, it's very different artists. I mean, they're not. It's not the same fiscal entity, so I I don't think that's a good sort of. I I don't think tying those two together just because they have the same venue is is appropriate. Or uh, appropriate is the wrong word, but you know what I mean. I, I don't. I just don't think that's a fair. 
And then as far as we did 2000 for this last year for, and we did 1800 the year before. So I'm not comfortable going all the way down to 1400. I think the way that works out in, in this case is that it's like 700 per concert, right? So what we're giving them pays for two of the concerts. I think it's four concerts that there are. Right. Yeah, four total they applied for, but um, I think what is there right now would pay for two concerts, and I'm fine with that as a maximum, personally. So what's the number? I I do have a concern, though, as far as, once again, this is right here in, in Amherst. And, and decreasing for something that the communities really come to rely on um, is, is difficult. Well, 14, I, are, are we the only fund, like, I feel like- I, I think we are. Is this an existential thing for them? Are we the only source of funds for this? It, I believe we are. And it's free and open to the public. I'm not saying that we have to do the full amount, but I, I just, would like to try to to stay closer to what we've done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was last year? Uh, last year was um, well, two years ago it was eighteen hundred, and last year we went up to uh, one thousand nine hundred eighty-five. That was part of kind of rounding things down, so roughly two thousand. So. Okay. Well, uh, you know. Why don't we why don't we shoot for eighteen hundred right now and, and okay. come back to it? I think I think that's good. How about night? <laughs> fine. That's fine. Let's let's keep moving. Um eighteen hundred. Right. So um, we're now about three thousand over, just so everybody knows. Yep. Uh, right. Our our number is fifty four eight eighty two. This next one, we're going to have to have a hard conversation because I don't think we got any additional information from this this group. Um, Are they missing something? Give me just a second. I'm always stepping in it here. Um, so it's from January of 2024 to June of 2024. Oh no, this one's good. This one is yeah. it, at the high school. Okay. Um, well, I mean, my only point is again, you know, these folks oh, yeah. are doing extracurricular activities with kids, which is fabulous. They were the complete stars of the of the um, block party, um, but you know, I, I just don't think we have twenty five hundred to put into it. Yeah, and they did con confirm uh, two dates and with a letter. I'm confusing them with someone one else, but yeah, this is this is in really good shape. So um, I don't think we do necessarily have that much, but I would feel like if we could. I would say it post or have 1,500 if we can. I, I like that, Cody. I, I do. I mean, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I'm good with that as well. Okay, the multidisciplinary uh, linguistic group. This number again. This this is a you know, a school oriented project, which is which is great. Don't get me wrong. And they're doing it on the common, which is even better. Um, but again, I think we could probably fund them at a thousand and and not, you know, they they have been growing the the event. Um. We did fund them at 1,320 last year. I believe that was oh, the first year. So, yeah. So take off two or 300. Yeah. I mean, keep them, I, keep them at 1,300. I mean, keep them, they're asking for 16, go down to 13, 14, something like that. We okay. can stay where we were, 1,300, yeah. I think that makes sense. All right, <laughs> Ancestral Bridges was tough. Um, you know, this is one of Amherst's true international um 
things to be proud of. And unfortunately, they uh, <laughs> they followed our directions, which means, you know, put everything in one grant application. And they really put a lot of stuff into one grant application to the point where it was hard for me to see what our dollars were accomplishing for them. So I want to be cautious here because I think it's a very special organization, but I want to look closely at this budget for a minute because at 4,300 4, is a lot of money. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with the, the total ask and that it's the whole budget. Um, I mean, I, I think we should be in the neighborhood of 1,500 or 2,000. Um, what, which grants would this have related to in prior years since we've been going back and looking at um they've never gotten a grant from us but what kind of events let's are... just look let's look at the application and the and the um budget cinda jones is the, is the lead primary contact i'm so sorry i have to head out i just booked myself right at seven um but are you guys okay do you have quorum without me still yes yep okay. yeah and... thanks eleanor bye thank you so much So do we think we're going to get through this? It's 7.01. <laughs> I, um, we're, we're not going this pace. We're not going to get through it. There's no I way. mean, if, you know, I'm not saying not to do it this pace, but if this is the pace we need to do it, I mean, we've got hours left. So I would so we, really say do either. Either we let you do the wiggling on the budget by yourself or we have another meeting. I mean, I can, I mean, I certainly, I'm just starting to lose focus. So. Um, it, can we all go until 7.30? Yep. I, was, I can. But 7.30 I can. is, I, 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 I can't tonight as it turns out. Uh, I apologize. So then let's just find another. Yeah. We can, we can find another date y'all. It's fine. And, and we just, you know, we need five for a quorum. We're very close. Look, I mean, if we, take, I mean, if we take ancestral bridges and bring it down to twenty three hundred, we're balanced, you know. So, I mean, we're 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 not that far off yet, and there are still some Do you decisions really need made. Us? Do you really need us to? I mean, I'm just. Is this something? Does that, could use everyone's time? I mean, it, from from the point you know, of view, if we're so close, and like you know, can't we? give you power of attorney to like wiggle the numbers you know it's like we're right there yeah so, we did this that's how you did it last year as well so i mean i mean i'm sure. fine i trust you that you're not going to take all the money and give it to one person i mean so well have you guys I, I seen mean, the freddie holloway school for <laughs> hard working little kids line yet that's in here <laughs> um but the end, or I'm happy to come back again. But it just seems like like we're look like what without not even like we're six hundred dollars off or something. I mean, I mean, if, if 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 you'd like to call a motion to to vote to delegate to Matt and I yes. to you know, yes. then I call a motion to delegate the final budget adjustments to Julianne and Matt. I, I'll second that. Okay. I think we would still need to, to vote on the, the final slate, which I don't know how we. Yeah, I think, well, no, Julianne, what, what they're saying and what we did last year, in fact, was they said, we approve this slate minus any rounding work that you have to do. That was kind of yeah. how we did it last year. Nope. Um, this I mean, year's a little bit different, you know, because we, there's still some really big numbers on here that we haven't discussed in great depth. So as much as I, it pains me to say it, I think we really ought to meet again and and, and okay. take a final vote. Okay. Um, me. But uh, anytime well, you're gonna do the jiggling of the numbers, right? Like you did last year, because I think we last year we came and voted on the numbers that after you and Julianne had tweaked the. I thought too. Yeah, well, we would have it all cleaned up. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Just why I like I'm already but next Tuesday so so it would have to be Tuesday or a other day. 
Nets. Oui. I know we're we're getting when so we're close to the to the Christmas week. Also, I mean, and and you know, and by the way, I realize that this is the second meeting during Hanukkah, which is not I'm not proud of that either. By the way, but um, but the next week will be super quick. Brief. Yeah, it would be fast. I I can meet any night. I but can yeah, we could do a quick meeting to just take to take the final vote on it. I think that would be in our best interest. Yeah, I agree. All right, why don't why don't I look at um, January 9th is is what we're going to shoot for for our reconsideration meeting tentatively. I think so. I'll backtrack. You know, fifteen days from well. It does take us a couple of days to get those denial letters out. Um, then Matt, you and I need to meet before we send those out. And well, we need to do that together. So. Okay. Um, so, okay. Why don't, why don't we, uh, we'll send out some dates over email and we'll get a voting meeting set. I, I just would feel more comfortable because we've got, you know, we haven't even really talked about what the actual number is going to be for some of these very big grants. And it's just not, I don't think it's, I don't think it's wise. Cody, changing the subject. Can I get, can I get your numbers so that I can call you so I can give you a ride tonight? Yeah. Four, three, five, four, seven, nine, three, eight, three. Nine, three, eight. Yeah. Eight, three. Oh. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and adjourn, and adjourn the thank meeting. You for, thank you for stopping the recording. <laughs> <laughs> I think they might have got the last, yeah, all the last digit of his Thank meeting. you all for all, all your hard work. This has been really just a, a wow kind of a, a year with this as far as the volume of it. So really Thank you both. Later. Thank you. For all of your hard work. <laughs> Good care. All right. Night. You have a great night. Bye.